Isn't it just the same game or am I am I crazy? Okay, I think I take the pawn and I take with the queen. Yeah, Israel, I haven't really spent much time in Israel. Only like only a couple days in Tel Aviv and then I was in Elat for, for a week. Okay, so I make a check. I have to hope hopefully not get checkmated here somehow. I, I'm down a queen. So let's see what happens. So he goes here, and if I take, then he goes check. I go here, then he goes check, then I go here. Wait, but then he is check. And then he mates me with the knights. Um, okay, but he has to go here, right? He's got to go here. Yeah, this is the only square he can go to. Um, Pog, you. Oh, right, chat. Yeah, 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 exactly, chat. This is just this is the original wooden shield, right? Yeah, yeah, this is just the original wooden shield, right? Yeah, that's just the, the original wooden shield. Okay. Um, so now I have to be careful. So if I take the queen, he makes a check. I go here, but then he makes a check, but then I go here, but then he makes a check. Um, oh, this is way too dank. I guess I'm just going to take the knight. I don't even know what's going on here. I'm so confused. I'm probably going to get checkmated somehow. I, I feel like I'm getting checkmated. But I really have no clue what's going on. Okay, so now obviously I take the knight. So what does the count? He's got one, two, three, four, five knights. I have one, two, three, four, five. I've got seven knights. Oh, frick. Oh, no, I'm getting checkmated, I think. He, I didn't even see this check. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to get fricked. Let's go here. Goes check, and I go here, and I pray that there's no checkmate. I don't even know what's going on here. Because I have knight e7 and knight g8 also. I go here. If he goes here, I take. He has no other checks. So, like, I'm threatening to maybe make some checks with my own knights here. I can go here, maybe. But then I go here. Very, very crazy. But, yeah. Anyway, um, just develop your knights. Yeah, what's with all the horses? Yeah, there are a ton of horses. I've never been I've never been to Lithuania. No, I've, no, I've, never, I've never been to Vilnius. Um... Not expected this respectable man to swear. Sorry, chat. Sorry. Okay, now he goes here, but he still has no check because my knight covers, but I can go here, but then I go here, or I go here, but no, but then he has check here. So if I go here to go for this checkmate. Um, I'm going to go here to go for checkmate because check I still take. Check, I still take. He's got no checks. This is crazy. Um, they need to will the age for the prime to X noobs. Oh, does he have a checkmate here that I'm missing? But wait, what's he doing? I'm just gobbling. I'm 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 gobbling all his night all his horses up. <laughs> thank you to uh shroff with the prime thank you to clean up guy with the tier one as well thank you so much appreciate it thank you guys have i read the wired article i perused i i don't i don't like reading articles about myself it's just not my thing i think that's it's really like kind of vain and like vain and stupid it's just like there's no need to boost your ego with stuff like that um thank you to carl lagerfeld with the prime thing still artois with the prime thank you so much appreciate it. okay i'm gonna attack the queen again because now my other knight comes in Got this though. Now I go check and I collect. Fork time. Now the only thing here is I have to make sure not to uh, get down to two knights. I've what do I have? I've got one, two, three, four, five, six against six against two. This should be pretty clean. Let's go here. This is checkmate, I think. Am I missing it? Or no, this is checkmate. Oh, look at this. Is this beautiful or what, you guys? Look at these knights.
Oh, thank you, Wizard. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thanks for five sandals. Okay, so now I've got a king way on the edge of the board. I got to get my king back to safety, so I'm gonna push the pawn up next move and bring the king back. Thank you to a thank you to Asatu Mouth. Thank you so much for the two months. Appreciate it. Uh, thank you to FGGSSDJG for the prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you to Adriana. Thanks for the host. Okay, uh, you build. If you're not in live chess, you got to be in live chess, dude. Uh, thank you to Bib Chessmaster for the tier one as well. Appreciate it. Thank you. Or BLB. Thank you. Okay, let's bring the king back to A2. Thank you to Sir Snatches with the Prime. Okay, I'm going to do the double double sniper formation here and put my manually cast my king to B1. Uh, thank you to Boon, uh, Boon Sacks with Prime. Thank you to Fat School for the Prime. Now I'm going to go all in with the attack because, my, because I've got the sniper here and my king is on the other side of the board. So I'll go here in 95 and try to take this. Okay, let's go here, try to expose this knight. Guess I'll take. Thank you to Photorus. Um, I'll go back. Uh, thank you to Photorus for the prime. Thank you to Jaren is caring for the 14 months. Hi, I found you through your YouTube channel. Thanks for all the great content. Again, big shout out to Jaren is caring. He is the editor of my YouTube channel. He does all the amazing, like amazing, amazing thumbnails uh, on my YouTube channel. So big shout out to Jaren. Uh, he's a great, great editor for the channel. So thank you so much for everything you do. Take the pawn. I'll move the queen back. Hit the pawn. Now I take the pawn. Um, amazing. Just amazing. Look at this king. What a beta. Let's take the rook. I'll move the knight in. Go rook a5. <laughs> Let's lay up four. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you guys. Just had to throw that out there. Um, let's go e4. Let's take the pawn. Let's go king c1. Okay, that's a free juicer. I'll take it and come back. Um, let's go rook g1, rook g4. Was hoping Yasuo would be Boy Boy. I mean, Boy Boy was just too strong. I think Yasuo was a little bit too nervous as well. But objectively, Boy Boy completely deserved to win the win the match, and he he remains one of the absolute favorites. Take the pawn. Are you? Uh, I'm impressed at how much of Twitch you soaked in. Is is that good? Is that good or bad though? Because that might mean that my that my brain and like can no longer retain certain important chess information. Like I, I won't remember like a forty move variation in some some really dank chess opening. So there, there are upsides, but there might also be downsides too. I think it's Stroff for the 100 bits. Thank you to Mulberry for the two months. Thank you to Gravel Cat for the Prime as well. Thank you so much. Thank you to T-Gels for the 500 bits. Boy Boy or Hutch? I think right now Hutch is pro... I actually think Hutch is the favorite the, right now based on the general general concepts and the, 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 the solid nature of his play right now. Okay, so I think actually I'm going to run to the restroom, you guys. So I'm just going to run to the restroom really quickly, and I'll be right back. All right, thank you to uh, SC2 Mag for the Prime Thing Unsolvable with the Prime Thing, to Reigns of Chaos with the Prime Thing, and Man of Steel with the Prime as well. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Um, all right, so let's keep going. Okay, so what am I doing? My opponent has uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete. I have two queens. Two queens. I do like my queens. Let's push the pawn. Yeah, H Hudge is not boring. He's classy. Hudge plays a very classy, like classical kind of chess approach. So push the pawn here. Um, 
Why did I change? When did I? Why did I change my jumper to red? First of all, chat. It's called a windbreaker, not a jumper. We are in. The, we, this is NA. We're not. We're not in. A, we're not in. In. A, we're not in. A, what's it? What do you even call? What do you even call London? What do you even call UK education now? Because it's like it's not. Um. They they left. They left the EU. So what? What do you even call London? Just UK education now? Yeah, I guess that's what we call it, right? Because it's no longer EU education after <laughs> Brexit land, right? Yeah. Um, oh, wait, no, sorry. The night, the night guards the pawn. Whoops. Okay. Um, push the pawn here. Still European. When do I want to give Q, when do I want to give XQC lessons? Um, actually, you know, I should, I should message, message him on Twitter at some point. Um, I'll message him, uh, I'll message him later on Twitter. Okay, let's go a four and b five here. This should be fine. Why do I click on a piece after I move? I think I've explained this to you guys many, many times. So the reason I click on a piece after I move is because it's one of these old habits I got when I was young. So it's like psychologically, like as you guys know, and this is this is true. Pape this is in true Papega fashion. Um, I know I've said it, but those of you who haven't heard, it, I'll say it again. Um, so in true Papega fashion. Um, so I've always been a person like when you play over the board, chess is very much uh, chess is very much about um, like the psychological atmosphere, right? So you're like you're thinking about your opponent's face to face combat kind of. And so for some reason, when I, I think I was younger, I got it in me that like online is the same as over the board. And you can intimidate your opponent. So like I, what I do is I like I click and then I double click it for the emphasis is like, you know, what a move I made like it's emphasis like, you know, bringing the emphasis like there like they feel the power of the move. The only problem, of course, as you guys know, this is online chess. They don't hear the double click or anything like that. So I'm basically just doing it and there's no psychological effect whatsoever. Um, so I'm going to take the pawn here. Yeah, they can't see it. I know exactly, chat. Like I said, it's true Pepe. It's in true Pepe fashion. I'm going to go H4. Let's go H5. Remove this knight. See, power, power move. I remove the knight. Only problem is my opponent doesn't realize he doesn't feel the power of that move. I'm going to go queen here. <laughs> Someone left the stable door open. Thank you to Matt Staples for the 12 months. The clicks do sound good. Yeah, the clicks are fine, but the only thing is, like, you don't you don't actually have them out. What is going on in this game? This is kind of wild. I'm going to go here, maybe drop the king. Try to access some point here. Drop the king back here, I guess. I mean, I got to access some lines here. His knights are really, really good, though. They guard everything, kind of. Like, I have no entries. I have no entries. His horses guard every, every, every freaking square here. Like I can't go anywhere on this diagonal. I mean, look at these horses. They control every square. This is this is sick. Okay, whatever. Let's just go for it. I gotta open up the open up the open up the the door. Uh, let's take now. His knight should be open somehow. Maybe not though. Everything is somehow protected. Crazy. Uh, okay, let's go here. Maybe target the pawns. Could have gone queen e4 too actually. Oh, he blundered one knight. Now I'm in the game. You know, I think I take. It's still not easy to win because he's still got like six horses against my two queens. Okay, goes knight of four. So I think I go check here. Uh, maybe I go check. Try to keep the king inside. Okay, let's go. I think maybe I'll go. I don't know, like here maybe or. This is hard to play. Um, okay, let's go check. You can probably block with another knight, yeah. There are too many horses on the board here. This is insane. Um, let's just go check, maybe. So he's only got one check here. So maybe I can like start to access like his king position somehow. I don't think I... Oh, wait. Ah, yeah, yeah. His knight is coming here, too. What did I just walk into? Yeah, we're playing six knights against. It was seven knights. He blundered one knight, but it's like, um, which, like too many freaking horses here. How do I get out of these tricks? Goes here. Um, I guess I'll go check. Go check. Too many, too many stupid horses. Oh wait, no, he's got a knight. Uh, I uh, know he's got a knight. How do I do this? Actually, this is crazy. I'm gonna go here. 
Um, still no checks. This is nuts. Let's go here, maybe. I just wonder, 94. Let's go here. This is crazy. Um, oh, he blunders. Yes, he blunders at night. Finally, there we go. Crazy. Uh, no, no, I take. Oh, he just blundered all his horses. This guy just blundered all his horses. You don't want to do that. That's not, not what you want to do. Okay, so here I am. What am I? I've got everything here, so I've just got to avoid getting checkmated at the start of the game. So let's go um, maybe here in Queen C1. Try to activate all my pieces towards the king and the bishop. Thank you to Ali Alea for the prime. Thank you, thank you to uh, Magnus Weirod for the 100 bits. Thank you to Nick, Nickel, Nickel, Nickel Jordan for the prime. Thank you to Bixie for the prime. Um, thank you to X Noob XXX for the five bucks. <laughs> Let's go here. Thank you to Agent Peaches for the tier one as well. Thank you so much. How is this fair? It's fair because my king is getting sauced on the king side. That's how it was fair. Let's go here. Try to make the checkmate. My king is social distancing. Yeah, my king is all the way on the wrong side of the board here. Let's go here, I guess, so he doesn't have some trick with a checkmate coming. Okay, I guess I take the pawn. Thank you to Quagai for the two months. Thank you so much. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. I guess I just take the bishop, and now I'm going to be winning something here in the center of the board, probably. Half door right behind you. Describe you and Magnus's friendship. Mega curious. We don't have a friendship. We're acquaintances. We're on good terms, but we're not friends. Most top chess players are not. We're we're not friends. We're all, we're all on good terms, but we're not like we're not like we're not best best friends or anything. Um, we're all we're all we're all on good terms, but we're not we're not friends. We're just acquaintances. Like Levon, I'm I'm on great terms with Levon. Levon Levon's not. I mean, but again, we talk to each other at chess tournaments, but like. It's not like I'm, you know, I'm not on WhatsApp DMing Levon or something in between tournaments. So that's just how it is in general. I mean, if you're from the same country, sometimes it's different. But but for the most part, like we're we're, we're all in good terms. But we're, we don't really socialize except for um, except for oh, I slipped. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? I meant to play Queen E6. Um, yeah. I guess I go here. I can just take. Should still be winning. Why aren't you friends? Like I said, we're on good terms. But again, we just it's it's a competition, you guys. Like you you basically professional chess, you're out to beat uh you're you're out to beat your opponents. Like that's just how chess works. I mean the winner takes it all, basically. Uh I'm on I'm on pretty good terms with Wesley. In fact, I bet Wesley is watching the stream, undoubtedly. He watches a lot of these streams. So I'm I'm on pretty good terms with Wesley. You're not in a WhatsApp group. Nope. All right, next game. Oh, oh no, not this one. Oh, I hate this position. Uh, let me think. Um, I guess I, I guess I take. So he gets a queen, but I take this rook. Uh, Montreal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like, I like Montreal. Okay. I'm going to go here and maybe push the pawn. Yeah. This is a very, the pawns are going down by the way. So like, I'm trying to make Queens up this way, but yeah, I, I do like Montreal. Yeah. It's, 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 it's a great city. Problem here is development. Cause the pawns just sort of shield each other one by one. I guess I pushed the pawns up, try to create squares to attack the knight. I, but now he's going to try to make a queen down here. Oh, I might have blundered, actually. I guess I'll go here to hit the knight. If he goes here, maybe I go queen a7 to take the knight. Thank you to Jiyun for the prime. Thank, thank you again to Dead Avocado for the $5.10. Thank you so much. 
So he's going to make a queen. So I capture, he captures, and I capture, and I come here and make a queen. I don't know who's winning. Let's take. Pawns move horizontally. Yes, this is this is correct. Okay, so he goes here. So he wants to take here. I guess I just take, though. I don't really know who's better. Can I make a queen? My king is pretty safe, so I'm going to try to make another queen, I think, next move. Do you play any eSport game except for chess, such as what? You mean like League or something, or what? I've played some TFT recently, but... Uh, now I can take, I think, and I trade, and I push the pawn and make another queen up the board. Thank you, uh, Mora1, for the Tier 1. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Um, I think I take. So he's going to take, and then I make the check, and I hit the king, and I hit the knight. Okay, he walked into checkmate. Okay. A StarCraft. I played the original StarCraft ages ago, but I, I've, I've never really got into StarCraft 2. I don't know. I never really got into SC2. I've played Valorant. Yeah, I mean, I might play Valorant on stream later, actually. Possibly. We'll see. Play StarCraft Remastered, play Brood War. Like, <laughs> is, it, is it the same game? It's just the same game, right? Isn't it just the same game, or am I am I crazy? Okay, I think I take the pawn, and I take with the queen. Uh, thank you, Mysterious Physics for the Prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Okay, he's going to move the knight so I can capture. I can also move my queen up. I think I go here, maybe? i got to be careful. My king is really open. Um, yeah, Brood War and Remaster are the same thing. Okay. But yeah, I, I do plan on playing some other other games. The problem is, like I said, I had this professional tournament coming up in like four days or something. Um, I think I go here, threaten the checkmate with a pin. So because I have this upcoming tournament with like $45,000 first prize uh, in like five days, I don't really want to be doing a lot of stuff besides chess at the moment. That, that's the main thing. It's like, yeah, it's on June 20th, I think. So it's like five days. Um, yeah. So because there's like a 45,000 grand prize, it's like, it's one of those things where if I, if I start like going off and spending hours playing other games, like people are going to be like, kind of, they're gonna be like, dude, like if I have bad points, like you're like wasting your time playing Valorant instead of like, you know, not doing Valorant. Okay, let's take the pawn. I'll take the bishop and make the check. Uh, let's take and make a check. Uh, let's make a check here. Thank you to Bruiser Burns for the prime as well. Thank you to OBS Kuria for the prime. Uh, professional poker player, I would never do that. I mean, poker is just such a such a soul sucking kind of game. Like you end up in casinos playing twelve hours every day. It's just. I don't know. I never really liked the lifestyle that much. I think that's the last of the odd, odds games, by the way. So um, I think I'm going to start playing other people now. <clears throat> 